calcareous soils are widespread across the Victorian and South Australian Mallee, as well as the York and Eyre peninsulas. And a common issue with these soils is that they are a hotbed for the fungal root disease Rhizoctonia. At this calcareous soil trial site at Puchera on the Upper Eyre Peninsula, there are telltale signs that this disease is present. So you can see we've got quite a severe patch in the crop here where the growth is very stunted, very poor. And this is classic for Rhizoctonia. And one of the reasons we're confident it's Rhizoctonia is it's got very sharp margins. So we go from a crop that's relatively healthy for this season, very quickly disappears into this very poor stunted stuff. And it's a characteristic of Rhizoctonia that creates these patches with very sharp margins. So it's a bit of a, a guide to help you work out what's causing patchiness in your crop. Below ground, the disease attacks the cereal's primary and crown roots, and the best way to check for damage is to wash the soil from a few plant samples and check their roots in a tray of clean water. We've talked a lot about the soil-borne disease Rhizoctonia, so I thought we'd show you some of the, the impacts of that on the barley here at the demonstration site. So what I've picked down here is one of the better plants in the trial. And you can see it's got a, a reasonably good root system. And a feature of the a better root system is this profusion of very fine roots. And they're very important for nutrient uptake. Let's the plant explore. You can see some white roots here, which are new ones developing, which are still quite healthy and developing from the crown of the root. Now in contrast to that healthier one, here's one that's been severely affected by Rhizoctonia. You can immediately see how little the root system is left and in particular there's no fine roots left in the system and these crown roots which come later in crop development but are very important for nutrient uptake they're very shortened very cut off and again no fine roots on them it's the fine roots that do a lot of the work and there's just a very limited capacity for that plant to explore for water or nutrients out of the soil because there's, there's, there's very little functional roots left on that plant. Another characteristic of calcareous soils is their high levels of calcium carbonate. And a simple test with diluted hydrochloric acid will graphically confirm the presence of calcium carbonate. Boron is also present at high concentrations. Being a very soluble trace element, boron is readily taken up by plants and as moisture evaporates, boron is deposited in the leaves. So you can see in these plots here, we've got this dark speckling on the, the higher leaves. That's a symptom characteristic of boron toxicity. And the plants are obviously hitting some of that boron now, which is deeper in the profile of these calcareous soils. These black spots on the tip of the leaf and extending down the margins are actually very high concentrations of boron. So it's trying to just keep the boron away from the rest of the leaf and dumps it in these areas and it's in the water. So in barley we see these black spots on the tips and they die back along the edges because that's where all the boron's been deposited. Wheat does exactly the same thing, but it doesn't produce these black spots. Looks pretty bad, tends not to have a big impact on, on yield, but it's obviously a feature that's causing the, the barley to struggle a little. GRDC is investing $6.75 million into a new calcareous soils initiative, aimed at increasing the grain industry's knowledge of these challenging soils. Find out more by watching the Calcareous Soils Initiative video. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.